You can learn some very interesting skills just by reading books, like uh, teleportation, for example. Did you know that the only thing you need to do is... I wanted to make this video for a long time now and for the people that were asking me what books to buy around design and business, I'm really sorry I'm so late, uh, but here's the video. After 9, 10 months, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, here it is, I'm sorry I'm late. And In today's video, I, I wanted to share my favorite books that helped me those last years improve myself and my business. I was never so much into books. Uh, I'm a very slow reader, it could take me two or three times to read the page to go to the next one, so yeah, it takes me a lot of time to read a book, but if I can read books and improve, you can definitely do it. I don't want this video to be very long, so I kept the list of books short, but let me know in the comments if you want me to make another video with more books, or if you want me to make videos with uh, specific books and go deeper into that specific book more before you buy it. And if you want to check the books out, I will have the link in the description for all of them. So yeah, go check them out. So let's start with Steal Like an Artist and Show Your Work from Austin Kleon. Uh, those are like two very good books to start and if you're a graphic designer you probably own one of the two or maybe both of them but if you don't yeah those are good books to start and will start to change a little bit the way that you think so still like an artist is about 10 things nobody told you about being creative i love that in the back you have those 10 things you know structure and it's not about really stealing, about how to think as a creative and I think it can really unlock the way that you think. So really helpful to start. Again, so your work, it's how to, to share your creativity and get discovered. Uh, same, same way here written and I love the, the rough designs that they have inside. I think it makes it really cool and again really easy to read even for me I also got the third one keep going uh, that Austin Kleon came out with um, haven't read this one yet but yeah, I probably should I also want to go back and read those two because it was a long time ago yeah definitely recommend those books so this book is not in the list, but I think it's a fun book and I just wanted to show it to you. I have a moving uh, cover and you know, every page basically it's a letter from the alphabet and I find it to be very, you know, clever made. Like, I'm always thinking how the hell are they making those books? Those are very clever. If you're looking for a book to get inspired about logos and see what others are making, um, I would suggest Logo Modernism. As you can see, this one is a beast. I mean, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it's huge. I think it's one of the, the best out there with different kind of logos in order to get inspired. And I like that they structure it with uh, shapes. So if you're looking for a square, you can go to square. If you're looking for a specific letter like C or R, you can go there. Very interesting book if you're looking to get inspired. Next one is Freelance and Business and Stuff from Amy Hood and Jennifer Hood. And I've got to say, from all the books that I have bought until now, this has the best unboxing experience. And in this day and era that almost everyone is buying and reading their books online in a digital form, for me that I'm paying a little bit extra to get the actual book, I love that I get those extra stuff and this extra experience. 
I love the design of the book. This is maybe one of the reasons that I bought it. I love the designs inside. It takes me back to a very, you know, old school era. It has something vintage into it, something handmade. Very cool to have those designs uh, in the book. Of course, you're looking for knowledge, but I mean, <laughs> they're really cool, man. So Martin Neumeyer, if you are into branding, you have probably heard of him. Um, you have Zag and Brand Gap and Brand Flip. I will start with Brand Gap just because it's the first one. Uh, it doesn't mean it's the best one from the three, but I will go for this one just to introduce me to, to the branding. All of his books are really easy to read. Short, quick text that you can quickly read and understand. I also love the examples that you have. Brand Gap is about the distance between business strategy and design. So how to close this gap? Definitely recommend this one. Uh, you should definitely read this one if you're going to be a brand strategist or you have anything to do around branding. Don't call it that. This is not like a book that you read. It's more like a workbook. Uh, that helps you name your company, your product, your business, etc. And basically takes you through some exercises that you'll need to do in order to, you know, find your name. I also bought this book from the same author, Run Studio Run, which is about how to operate and grow a small creative agency. I like those big letters that they, they have in there. I love the black, gold, white theme. So if you're looking to buy the Don't Call It That book, there will be a small problem actually. And I'm saying that because it's not available anywhere anymore for the last two years that I'm looking to buy it. I didn't find them in their website, on Amazon. I was searching Amazon in different countries. It's not available anymore. But there is also a new version of the book that you can buy uh, like an actual book for 987.25 and I'm guessing this is not even new it's probably used but don't worry there is a hack this is what I have actually used in order to get the actual book in my hands for free start by going to Amazon click on the image right click and copy now open up Photoshop and paste the image there then the only thing left to do is to bring the size close to 11 and a half centimeters and then just pop it out. And you have yourself an actual book. Pretty cool, right? So if you want to actually get the book, you will need to go to Amazon and buy the digital one. And if you are like me and you don't really like to read through the screen and you want to have the book in your hands, just print it out. If you are like me and you get overwhelmed with all those books that they're out there and you don't know how to start and what books to buy, I will suggest go buy only one book and then move to the next one because in reality it doesn't really matter how many books we own and how many books we read if in the end we don't really apply those things in our everyday life and into our business. So instead of trying to make larger the list of books that we read, we should try to increase the amount of things that we apply. In order to do that, the first question you need to ask is what do you want? Uh, what's the problem you're trying to solve in your business? What are you trying to improve? Um, this is going to help you uh, to pick that first book and start reading that book. Because the next question is, what's the problem that the author is trying to solve through this book? If what you're trying to improve aligns with the thing that the author is trying to solve, you should read that book. Then, when start reading, take notes and at the end, summarize and write down a conclusion. And I realized this is very helpful for me, so right now I'm going back and read the books that I have already read in the past, but this time with a different mindset, and I'm trying to keep notes and write down a conclusion. The Win Without Pitching Manifesto is a mind changer, and it's gonna change the way that you think. It's one of my favorite books, actually, and I love that it's actually written like a manifesto with 
12 proclamations. I love the style of it, it's like an old book with some wisdom in it, the way that it looks. It will help you to rethink how your service are bought and sold and set you apart from the competition. And it changed my mindset about being a journalist and that we need to specialize. The Win Without Pitching Manifesto from Blair Ends, definitely recommend it, awesome book. Pocket full of dough. Um, this is actually from Chris Doe from the future. I did get this one from his uh, Kickstarter campaign, so I'm not sure if it's available right now. I should check it out. If it is, I will have the link in the description. I really like the design and the printing. If you are one of those that really enjoy reading a book and get deep and deep into some subjects, I don't think this is a book for you. You should get this one because it's really quick and easy to read it. Pretty much each page is like a small chapter and has a lot of information, helpful tips, no BS and no extra sauce around the pages. And you can probably have this as a guide, basically have it in your pocket and when you need it, you can go back to it, you know, find the specific page that you want to remind yourself of something and really quickly read about it. And I also love the black matte finish with a glossy black, um, looks cool. And finally, The War of Art, not to be mistaken with The Art of War, which is a 2000 year old book, which is very famous. Um, this one is about procrastination and again, really easy to read very helpful if you're finding yourself wanting to work but then you know finding excuses and procrastinating and doing things around the house instead of working and now that almost everyone is working from home i think that procrastination is like amplified so if you want to get work done definitely recommend this one. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite book right now because I would love to check it out. And remember, this is not about how many books we read, it's about truly understanding, learn and apply.